body structure, you literally have to unsheath all the metal, rebuild the structure, basically rebuild the body almost from scratch. Very time consuming project. Well, we must have been foreshadowing when we were talking about Mr. Stutz and Mr. Olds because here we have a number 322, a 1923 Oldsmobile Brome, uh, brought to us by Aaron Brogan from Davisburg, Michigan. All right, and, and try and follow along. We're, we've talked about Mr. Olds having two companies. This is Mr. Olds' first company, Oldsmobile, though he's no longer with it. He's now making the Rios at the time this car was built. But Oldsmobile had become a part of the General Motors family at this point. And uh, we talked about uh, Ransom Olds really sort of foreshadowing Henry Ford and what he did with the uh, Curve Dash Oldsmobile, the first sort of uh, mass produced, mass not in terms of thousands of cars, but certainly. Uh, serious production of a vehicle, and I even experimented with the assembly line early on. And uh, we just got notified, this is actually not a Fisher body, this is a Milburn. Milburn. Oh, I'm just car. reading the notes on that, yeah. 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 Interesting. And the Brome body, uh, that's actually a specific body style that dates back to the horse-drawn era. Uh, you see, many of the cars will have like a separate quarter window in back. The Brome body is distinguished that it does not. It kind of has kind of like a semi-privacy area uh, in the back seat. And it was actually designed on specification for an English lord, Lord Brome, who then went ahead and all subsequent Brome bodies were named, uh, were named for the English lord. And uh, this practice really did not keep up. I don't think there's a, a Lord Hardtop or something like that. But the, the Brome definitely comes from the English lord. Lord Roadster. Now I'll have to check them. Okay. Um, and that's interesting. Andy brings up the body. This is a, a Milburn body. Milburn was down in Toledo, and they were actually building electric vehicles at the time, the Milburn Electric. Uh, but they, to add to the revenue of the company, were also a coach builder. They, they actually built bodies and sold them to companies to put on their cars. So this is where we wind up with a Milburn body in Oldsmobile. Actually, the Milburn Company, originally called Mishawaka, Indiana Home, and was a horse-drawn vehicle manufacturer. There you go. Wonderful. Thank you for Thank you guys so Thank much. You. You know, I always like to joke, in, in good humor, if you had to sit around and think of the sort of worst name 